Hello friends, this video statistics part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched statistics part 1 to part 7 introduce you to a new term called standard deviation. Standard deviation is nothing but root of variance. So if we have this variance, you know this formula of variance. Variance was nothing but sigma square that was 1 by n into summation of xi minus mean square i is equal to 1 to n. Correct? Standard deviation is nothing but root of this. So you take the root of this. Standard deviation is nothing but root of variance is called standard deviation. Please note root of variance. It is also called root mean square. Root mean square. Why? Because we follow from bot back. First we square that is xi minus x xi minus mean square. Then we take the mean. This is the mean. Mean of everything is mean. And then we take the root. This is root. Root mean square. Follow from the back. First you square x that is what is square? Square is the square of division. Root mean square division you can say actually. Root mean square division. So first you will find division that is xi minus mean. Right? Because this is the division. Then you square the division. You get xi xi minus mean square. Once we have the square, for all this value you find the mean. So then you come summation of xi minus mean square by n, where i is equal to 1 to n. Once you have this mean, you take the root, you get root of xi minus this, this mean square by n summation i is equal to 1 to n. So this is called root mean square division. So standard deviation is nothing but root mean square deviation. From the back, first you find deviation, then you square it, then you mean it, then you find the root. Root mean square deviation. Please remember, root mean square deviation. First you find deviation, then you square the deviation, you find the mean of the whole thing, and then you get the root. Root mean square deviation. Please note, a lot of students do like this. This is nothing but 1 by n of root of sigma xi minus x mod square where they take out n 1 by n out that is wrong please don't be confused n is always inside to avoid confusion just remember root mean square deviation you find deviation first you you square it then you find the mean to find the mean you will get this and then you get the root so root is at the topmost level root mean square deviation now we'll take some example so first thing we have to do we have to find the mean in this case so in this example, we have to find variance and standard deviation for this data. The first thing we have to find the mean. The mean for finding mean, we have to add all these values because they are all x size. Correct? So let me first write this L in this form x size. This is x size. I'll write this 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 22, 20. I'll add all these values. 6 plus 8, 14. 14 plus 2, 16. 20, 26. 26 plus 8, 34. 34 and 6, 40. 0, 4. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 plus 6, 15. So summation of this x i is 15, 150. And the value of n, the number of terms, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 n is equal to 10. Correct? So n is equal to 10. So we can find this uh, mean, mean is nothing but summation of xi by n. This is nothing but 150 by 10, 50. So median is 50. So median is somewhere here. That is 50. That we have found. Sorry, mean. Mean is 50. That we have. Now once we have median, mean, what we'll do? We'll write x in this form here actually, xi minus 15, 
that is x i minus p. So six minus fifteen is nothing but minus nine. Eight minus fifteen is minus seven. Ten minus fifteen is minus five. Twelve minus fifteen is minus three. Fourteen minus fifteen is minus one. Sixteen minus fifteen is one. Eighteen minus fifteen is three. Twenty minus fifteen is five. Twenty-two minus fifteen is seven. And twenty-four minus fifteen is nothing but nine. The next step is we have to find the square of this. So x i minus fifteen square minus nine square is eighty-one. Seven square is minus seven square is forty-nine. Minus five square is twenty-five. Minus three square is nine. Minus one square is one. One square is one. Three square is nine. Five square is twenty-five. Seven square is thirty forty-nine. And nine square is eighty-one. Correct. Nine square eighty-one. Seven square forty-nine. Twenty-five. Three square nine. I've done this. Now the formula says root mean square deviation. Deviation we have got square it. And now to find the mean of this, that is sigma x i minus fifteen square one by n. This is the root mean square deviation. So we have to add these values: one plus nine, ten, fifteen, nine, twenty-four. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-six plus nine, thirty-five, forty, fifty. Five, eight plus five, thirteen, seventeen, nineteen, nineteen plus two, twenty-one, plus four, twenty-five, plus eight, thirty-three. This is three thirty. So we'll put the formula. Variance is nothing but, or variance is nothing but variance in the sigma square. That is one by n into. X i minus fifteen square sigma. This is nothing but n is nothing but ten. So this will be one by ten into this value is nothing but three thirty. Three thirty. Thirty. So variance is nothing but sigma square that is thirty three. This is variance. Now for standard deviation we have to say root of variance. That is sigma, and that is root of thirty-three, and that value is something around five twenty-five six thirty-six five point seven. That is answer. Very simple. What we have done, we have this values x i is. We found the mean first. We got the mean to be fifty. Then we found deviation of these values from mean. Then we squared this because root means squared deviation. We got deviation first. We squared it. We added all this thing to get mean. We got the mean. So mean was thirty-three, and that is nothing but variance. We squared. Uh, we made. Uh, we found the square root of this variance to get standard deviation. Be five point seven four. Standard deviation is nothing but root mean square deviation. Correct. Thank you. Visit examfear. dot com to watch free educational videos. Try free online tests. Get the best quality study materials. Study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.